Well, it's official. China's Evergrande did default on its debt. Let's bring in Nick Santiago of In The Money Stocks. And Nick, will this be problematic for the market? Well, it can be. Um, everybody right now seems to think that it's contained really just to China, but I'm not so sure of that. So that could be something that spills over. Um, I think there's also more than one Evergrande in China. So that could be problem. Uh, that could be a big problem as well down the road. So we'll have to wait and see. But um, I would not take my eyes off of that. I think everybody should uh, keep an eye on the Evergrande situation. Well, next week will be a big week for the market with the final Fed meeting of 2021. What's your expectation? Well, I think uh, Jay Powell has already stated last week what he really wants to do. Basically, in front of a Senate panel, he basically said that he's going to speed up tapering. So it really comes down to is tapering now tightening? And um, I think it is. And I think you got to be really, really careful. I think this coming uh, Fed meeting, uh, Jay Powell is going to talk about that. And they are probably going to accelerate the tapering. Right now, it's just $15 billion a month. That would take about eight months to go to zero. And if he starts to increase it or double it up, uh, the tapering could be over in as soon as three months, three, four months. So uh, I definitely think that's what he's going to propose. What's your next trade and will it be tied to the Fed? So my trade of the day is going to be uh, pro shares, ultra short, 20 plus year treasuries. And that's a play on yields. I think bond yields are going to go up now, uh, more so due to what Jay Powell is about to say. And the ticker symbol on that trade is TBT. And I think that's what you want to get into at this stage of the game. Thank you, Nick. Have a great weekend. Thank you for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.